Welcome, welcome. Is this right when I start? My mother's looking for a Coles card. Well. Hello everyone, how's everyone doing? It's Sunday fun day, as everyone knows, maybe not. But today, everyone, the camera's a little too far on the one side, but we have Wild Turkey 101 Bourbon Whiskey. This, this is something I've never had before. Well, I, as you can see, I had a little bit because uh, I was supposed to do it yesterday, but I got sidetracked drinking it, so... And I went to the movies, did a couple other things, but I decided to go with this because I went to Goodwill. Didn't really want to go, but I went to Goodwill, and I found this little gem here. Right on top of the bookshelf where they sell their books, or what have you. It was only about $4.99. This is a wild turkey decanter. I wasn't going to put the wild turkey in there because... I don't know what was in here before there. It was probably mold and stuff. And the head falls off. That's why I got tape on there. But this is a pretty cool antique. I don't know how old it is or if it is an antique. But it's and it's pretty funny looking. His face looks pretty old. He's like, oh, I'm all grumpy. But, but that side, and it does have eight years ago, one under one proof, which is what this is. Four out of five quarts. That's a good rating. So I got this, the Wild Turkey 101. That is a 50.5, obviously, percent uh, alcohol by volume. Um, it's got the turkey on there with the, the nuts and berries. So let's do the first one. I did drink a little bit before this uh, episode. But this is the first one you're going to witness. So here it goes. So, what I got to say about the wild turkey or the 101, it's fairly. It, it's mm, goddamn ant. It's fairly is good, but not a lot of flavor. I mean, you really can't taste anything except for the the burn, if you will. I mean, not too much of a flavor to it. It tastes like you're drinking. Well, I don't even know. Not very good. Not very good at all. And I'll get you where you're going, getting, wanting to go. Because, you know, 50%. But, I mean, I don't know, I'm not the biggest fan of Wild Turkey. I've This is the first time I've ever had Wild Turkey 101. Uh, but as a bourbon, it's, it's, you know... Not very good on the spectrum of other bourbons or whiskeys or, you know, brown liqueur. I mean, I'd rather drink this than, uh, you know, vodka or something. But, you know, it was, I can't remember how much it was. Uh, 
But I, it wasn't that expensive. And compared to the normal wild turkey to this one, I think it was only like a, $2 more or something like that. So I figured I'd get the, the 50% because more bang for your bookaroo. says bold genuine true not feeling the bold for it being the extra 10% you can't really taste you know the the burn a rune says for more than 60 years it was distilled by the master Jimmy Russell the right way. To six to eight years. I don't know. <clears throat> Personally, duh. we'll wait till the third shot for me to give you the review of the, you know, getting text messages like you wouldn't goddamn believe. You wouldn't believe this shit. Oh, God. Um... Anyway, I went to the movies last night, the Bistroplex local place. Yeah, I got the mozzarella sticks. Delicious. They're used in wontons. I had them before. They're delicious. They use the right amount of cheese, right amount of wonton, right amount of sauce. And then I had a, I believe it was called the Sunny Morning. Hold on, there's another goddamn ant. We'll leave that one on the wall so the other ones know don't come by. But it was a sunny morning. Or su sunny morning, Sunday morning. I think it was a sunny morning. It had two burgers with uh, bacon, ham, egg, it had fries. It was pretty good. It was a little messy, though. It was pretty, you know, like the burgers there were real thick. So I couldn't get it in my mouth without eating, chewing mustache hairs, ripping them out. But... <clears throat> It was delicious. I was pretty stuffed. I so I went with uh, the lady to see. Um, nah, um, what the hell was that movie called? I think it was Bad Samaritan, Good Samaritan. I don't know. Somebody uh, was robbing someone. There was someone locked up in the house. And long story short, I'm not gonna ruin it for you. But it was pretty good. I thought it was good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Um. Today, what did I do today? Oh, and yesterday I bought a boat. It's a 16-footer. That's about it. I mean, it's a boat. Today I cleaned out my other boat, which is a 12-footer. I took, snapped a couple Pickarooskis. Going to put that on Craigslist, see if I can't not sell it. And we're going to hopefully get a couple hundy out of there. Maybe go to Potawato, which reminds me, I went to Pano on Friday, and I hit, uh, I brought a hundred bucks there, usually I bring a couple hundred, I brought a hundred bucks, uh, and I went to a machine, I was, I put a 20 in there, and I got the last spin, I hit the bonus for 426 bucks, I mean, whoop -ha. what are you gonna, you can't beat that, I mean, you could, you could, but a lot more, but, so I hit that, and then I lost it all, I came home a dollar ahead, so you can't really complain with not losing money, but I did win, it's, it's the memories that count, I mean, it's all about the experience, um, but today I cleaned out my other boat, and I went to Myers, made some breakfast, little eggs, hash browns, the little uh, sticks with the sausage on it with the breading, corn dog, the breakfast corn dog. Then went to the beer garden, had a brewski. 
can't remember the name of it because we got so many goddamn uh, fancy names there. Didn't see any animals, which is very disappointing. Last time I went there, I saw a raccoon, a deer, a, a goose. No, it wasn't a goose. It was a, it was a goose and a turkey. I saw a bird eat a worm. This is number three. A turkey just like these. It wasn't as good looking as this one. But it, at first I thought it was a peacock. The lady thought it was a crane. But it would be a turkey. I bought some a &W. I think after this short tidbit I'm going to try it with try this wild turkey with the A&W. See what it has to say to me. Maybe I'll, I'll come back to you guys and say, you know what, this is a good deal. But right now, I'm I'm not a big fan of the Wild Turkey 101. I mean, I'm as far as uh, taste-wise, which I guess is what I'm going off of taste because it's a drink. I'd probably give it, man, if you want to get where you want to get, I'd give it a, a higher rating, but as far as uh, texture and taste, it's probably like a 3 out of 10. <clears throat> but if you're somebody that's trying to get, you know, all snocker, snocker, upper, upper, you, you, you might rate it maybe a 6 out of 10. Because you get the extra 10.5. So. I don't know. I hear all these people talking about wild turkey. But. Man. I don't know. Maybe it'll grow on me. I don't know. I know I, I didn't like Jack Daniels when I f first started drinking it. I thought it was, it was the fantastic most thing. But now. Man, I love that goddamn, uh, I'm trying not to, you, you know, but it was, it's pretty good now. I mean, I always liked the Jack and Coke, but drinking it by itself, I did not like that one bit. But now, oh, lordy, lordy, pour that in a shot, I'm, you swoop, swap, sweep, we're getting a heap hop of fun. So I'll leave you with that. I want to keep it short so I don't, you know, bore you guys. But maybe I'll come back with the A&W. That's what I bought it for, but I'm running a little low on this because yesterday we, I was drinking this when I was supposed to be doing the show. But you know how Saturdays go. So, tune in uh, next week or next day or whenever I do the next episode we're going to find a new beverage to drink and sample for you Kashi's